Hi folks, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to attempt to put together this 112 egg incubator. It does come with some instructions, a no-name brand of course. The translation is probably alien, that's what it sounds like, so it's pretty much useless. It can be tossed. So what I found in the box are obviously side panels. You get these clear side panels and then of course there's a bag of bolts and nuts, very small. I've dumped them out so they're easier to man manipulate. Then each of the panels they have like a recessed area that the bolt, uh, the nut fits into so just go ahead and put them in. Just make sure that when you do tip it over they don't fall out because they're going to be hard to find, they're pretty small. So I have already put three sides together. I'll put the fourth one together so they just screw on there, get a Phillips. And uh, once I've done this part, I will get back and we'll do the rest. So it's good to go. And the last one, you see these little holes? And on the inside, what you can't see from that angle is the nut that sits in its little encasement there so it doesn't twist and turn on you. So that's one good thing. You won't need to have a, a wrench or anything to hold that in the back. It will hold itself. They all fit together. Alright, so uh, here's the tricky part I find. It's not explained at all, but what you're going to do is you will take the part with the motor this part here with the motor. You'll have all this uh, on the back and the smooth side will go to the inside of the incubator. Now what you're going to do is you will find this. You'll have two to build. You'll find this part. This is what actually turns the eggs. So you'll also want the smooth side, the same as the smooth side there. You will lay that on top and slide that into this this pin, this will then rotate and that's what would make the eggs go side to side. So once you have that in, you'll see that on the smooth side when you turn it over, you'll have two holes on one, which on these uh, egg flippers, egg turners, you'll have two of these uh, attachments on one side and then the other side will only have one. So make sure that you put the two sides, obviously, with the two sides. And then once you get to the other end, you'll find this smooth side just with one single hole. And that will, of course, clip again with the uh, smooth side on the inside towards it. So I'm going to start assembling some of this and uh, let's hope it works. So these are really difficult to put in some of these... Uh, adjustments or these attachments are larger than the holes so what I especially the one in the center is very hard so what I've been doing is kind of lining them up in here and of course as you see I've got a little claw hammer here and I kind of give it a tap nothing major just to make sure I can get those in there and then once they're in it helps any which way that you can get these in would help there there's one in you line up the second one, kind of give it a little tap. If you can push it in with your fingers, that's fine, but I found it very, very difficult to push in. So um, I'm just using my claw hammer. Make sure all your baskets are in the same direction. You don't want them upside down because obviously they won't hold any eggs that way. They'll fall out. So kind of give it a tap. Give it a tap. Some are really too big. This one was so big that it, it broke. But um, I'm sure it will keep it in for now. Okay, so let's put it all together. I have the base. And I put these little water... Um, covers on here. I guess you could open them to add water. 
So make sure all your assembly, all your wires are all going to the same side so they hook up easier. Then I will put this uh, mesh in here first because it will clamp right underneath this first base. There's a groove inside this base here. There's a groove which also clamps onto this edge all the way around. So we'll put it with the groove down over the top and it fits right in. So now the mesh won't move because it's clamped between the uh, side panel and the base. So the next thing we'll put in our assembled egg turner, the first one. And again I'm going to go ahead and put all the equipment to the same side. So let me decide I'm going to put it on the same side as the water. Oh, make sure you have, once you have assembled these, there are little legs on the bottom here. These brackets, make sure you put those on so it lifts it slightly from the base. That gives it the room to turn. So we'll put this in. Fits right in there. Again, the wires will be to this side. After I do this, I will put in the next wall, the side wall. Once again, with the grooved side down, we'll put that on top. Make sure your wire's in there. Now you have both panels assembled here. What you want to do next is you will put in your mesh that has the fan. There's a fan on this mesh. Again, make sure that your cables are all on the same side. Mine will be all on the same side as the water troughs. Um, there's a larger hole in this panel so you can pull the wire through from the fan. Lay that on there and it looks like they didn't give you enough screws. There should be more than likely at least four screws or nuts and bolts to hold this in place but I don't have any left so it kind of shimmies around. At a later date I might finish that up. So also again because of this hole make sure your first cable from your first egg turner also goes through that hole with a vent. Pull both of those through. Now that you have those through we'll get the next egg turner on top of that and again Make sure your feet are down so you have that extra room for the egg turner to work. And we'll pop that in here. Now this is, I find, a little more difficult. You will have to, this fan um, cable is not very long so I'm trying to put it, you'll have to put it through at that, where the uh, motor is just so you don't inhibit the egg turner from turning, which is kind of difficult to do at that angle. So if you have a crochet hook or something, it would probably be easier or just kind of shimmy it through there. Well, I'll do it later, but anyway. And then this will also go, you can, I don't know if this will work, but I can put it both sides here. So now you will have all the cables to one side. The egg turners are loose, which means that they will turn once the motor is on. And then, of course, the lid would go on top of here. You want to connect all your cables. Kind of it's obvious, the red ones, the white to the whites, and then the fan will go to the little black fan connector there. You have your uh, uh, humidity, your temperature gauge here. Your humidity would be here. Then, of course, setting it, plugging it in and setting it. I'm going to try that out next. So another thing I found that wasn't very good in quality control is that the actual connectors in some of these are pushed towards the sidewall of the, uh, uh, the connectors. So what I had to do is go in with maybe you have a small knife or something and just move it away from the side panel so that when you connect it, it connects straight in. So I've used the box that it came in. For the shipment to cover it up it just can't get up to temperature out here in the barn even though it seems to be warm up outside it looks like I'm just gonna have to take it indoors 
uh, for the next hatch because this temperature here can be very unstable and I just can't get it above the uh, required temperature. Now this might work with the box. Like I said, I don't have any eggs in it yet, so I could just leave it out here for a day and see if it gets there and then of course see if it stays and make sure that it can reach the optimum temperature and it doesn't sway up or down too much within the limits that I set. Otherwise I will have to take this inside because even the humidity is not going up. Although I have actually put some water in the trays, which I really want to drain once I actually have eggs in there to see uh, how high the uh, humidity will go. At this moment it's been at 33 for about two hours now and it's not going up so I covered it. Let's see if with the uh, additional insulation that the uh, water will evaporate better and maybe give the humidity a little bit of a higher boost. Um, to set it, there are several settings. I'll go through these so I can adjust the temperature so it's getting better. So from what I read in the instructions, um, it is set for 38 degrees centigrade and 50% um, uh, humidity at shipping. So once you plug it in, it's going to try to achieve that first before you can actually set it. So I would just let it run. It's going to show a lot of errors and beeping. And every time it beeps, you're just going to have to push any of these buttons to turn it off. That's just an internal alarm to show that you haven't reached the 50 percent humidity yet so I came back let it run for a few hours just came back and it was at 38 degrees and um, the only thing is the humidity was still at 30 so um, it's getting there but the alarms are still so I've been setting up this uh, incubator for the last um, almost week and um, it did really nice yesterday obviously I had to insulate it a little bit more to keep the humidity and the temperature at steady and then I also put an old sleeping bag on top and another sleeping bag and a blanket and that kept it from alarming out constantly. So now I just put in, let's see if I can show you, I've just put in, let me get the camera in there, some silky mix eggs, they're all numbered and oh, there goes the alarm, I shouldn't have opened it but there we go. And I'm going to get ready to cover it all up and get it back up to temperature and then we're going to check on them periodically and see how they turn out. Almost unrecognizable. The incubator is now in there so the eggs are in there. It's getting up to temperature. I can... There it's going up. Humidity is going up quite a bit. I've just added some sponges with hot water in the very bottom. Because um, the humidity drops pretty quick. For some reason here it might be dry at this season. But uh, if it goes up, I'll obviously not add water and take the sponges out. So temperature's getting up there. And it's set to rotate every two hours. So obviously I've got all the insulation. I've got an extra sleeping bag here. And I've got another baby sleeping bag on the front. And then to top it all off, I have my crochet blanket. The thing with that is I never got to finish it. I ran out of colors on the wool, on, this, on the yarn, and uh, pretty design, but just not white enough. So it's good enough to just top off to make it look pretty. And uh, maybe one day I'll finish it. I doubt it, probably not. <laughs> but either way, it's kind of nice, all insulated, very warm. And uh, if I want to go ahead and take out the uh, little thing up here so it vents better. I have a little top that I put in. I put this little pencil holder in the top to lift it up and that way it vents out better. So I'll just put that under here to keep the vent open more. But right now I just want to get it up to temperature. Once it's up to temperature we'll mess with that. But right now everything's working great. We'll see how that finishes. 